A common scapegoat for many automotive electric issues is, there must be a short. Short is the abbreviated way to say a short circuit or a shorted circuit. Essentially, it means electricity has taken an unauthorized shortcut. It's interesting that the majority of the people who call this technician seeking help to fix a short are not dealing with a short at all. Most are dealing with what's called an open circuit. Let me explain that. I've got a battery here, and as in the case with all electricity, it has to start someplace, find its way around, and get back home again. It always makes a circuit or a circle. In fact, electric circuit, the word circuit, has the same root as the word circle. So, for example, the electricity might come out of this terminal, go through a cable, go through a switch, go through a consumer, through another cable, and find its way back to here again. That's the circle. So imagine if we've got, we've got a couple of pieces of wire here, and let's just say that these are involved in a circuit. They're part of a circuit. The electricity flows in one, there's a connection of some sort here, and it comes out and goes off to the other. Okay? We have a nice circuit. It's going here. But what happens if these become disconnected? If the plug becomes loose or something else goes wrong? All of a sudden, the electricity can no longer flow from one to the next. The circle or the circuit is broken. Once that happens, something's not going to work. The horn won't work or the lights won't work. The starter won't engage. The heater won't come on. The wipers won't come on. The brake lights won't come on. Something no longer works. This is an open circuit. Something very similar that can happen is once in a while, the wires are still connected together and they look fine, but they're corroded. And we've all seen it. We get a little bit of corrosion in there, and it looks good to the eye, but the electricity can't get from the one to the next because between the pieces of wire, there's corrosion. So what we get is a kind of a, a simulated open circuit. The net result is the same. Now, a short is a very different animal. Electricity in your car has one goal in life. It wants to get to ground. The same way that water thinks of nothing other than flowing downhill, the electricity in your car wants to flow to ground. Now, think of a dam. A large quantity of water is being held back by the dam. The water spends all day and all night pushing on the dam, trying to go downhill. If the water finds a breach, a way to get through, the dam bursts. Now the water has no restriction and there's always damage. That's a key feature. If there's no restriction, we get damage. Hold on to that. Now, the charging system in your car, especially your battery, has lots of electric energy held back the same way a dam holds back a large quantity of water. The dam that holds electric energy back is called resistance. Switches offer resistance, insulation offers resistance, some consumers offer resistance. The case in this battery is made of a plastic material because it offers resistance. It keeps the electricity inside. Now, it's interesting that you have probably illustrated resistance for yourself and you didn't even know it. Let me give you two facts. Fact number one, a fully charged battery in your car has hundreds of amps of electric energy being held within it. Hundreds of amps. Fact number two, one-tenth of one amp can kill a person. So your car's battery has more than enough energy to actually do you great harm. And despite that, I'll bet you've touched two terminals in your car's battery at the same instant, at least once in your life, and probably nothing happened. Why didn't you get hurt? The answer again is resistance. Our bodies offer lots of resistance, so we're not very good conductors of electricity. When we put one hand on one terminal, and we put the other hand on the other terminal of a 12-volt battery, there's not enough voltage to push that amperage through my body and come out the other side and do the damage. It just can't do it. The same way the resistance of a dam prevents the water from flowing, the electricity in a 12-volt battery can't get through our body thanks to our resistance. Now, have you ever mistakenly dropped a wrench on top of a battery so that it touched both terminals at the same time? If you did, you saw a real light show. Sparks flew. And the moment the wrench sat there, it got very hot. If you were to leave it there for a few, few more moments, the wrench would get hot enough to begin to melt. Why or how can I touch the battery post with impunity while this wrench would be badly damaged for doing the exact same thing? The answer again is resistance, but this time a lack of it. The wrench offers virtually no resistance to the electric energy. Even with only 12 volts, all the amperage that's in this battery is going to run through this wrench. Okay? That's what a short circuit is. It's a circuit with no resistance. The electricity is allowed to run free. If the electricity had to run through something offering resistance, 
we would not have the problem we have. Let me show you. I've got the wrench on one terminal, and I'm not going to do it, but if I brought it down here so it could touch right there, there will be a light show, and I would get burned. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to put a bulb right there, connect one end of it to the wrench, the other end to the other end of the battery, and what's going on? There's electricity flowing through there. The, the bulb proves that, but the wrench in my hand is cold. There's no heat. Nothing is out of control because the bulb offers resistance. Okay, That's the key right there. As long as there's resistance, we're not going to lose control. We don't have a dead short. Imagine in your car, if you've got a piece of wire and she's got current in her like that, okay, everything's fine. But if she's going through and she somehow finds a way to, sh to ground a dead short, once that happens, there's no control, there's no resistance. And this wire, we've all seen it. They turn real black real fast. The vinyl burns off of them, smoke comes off, and that's a short. That's exactly what goes on. The dam is burst. The damage is unavoidable. So when we hear the term short or short circuit, it means the electricity has found an unauthorized way to ground with no resistance. It's out of control. So an open circuit or corrosion, which mimics an open circuit, means that something will stop working. A short circuit always leads to damage. Well, now, since a short circuit is going to cause damage, if we have a short in our car, we need to find and fix it. In the next video, we will address that.